Hopkins Elder Plus is a voluntary health program designed to provide and coordinate all needed preventative, primary, acute, and long-term care services so that older individuals can continue living in the community. Hopkins Elder Plus team members, participants, and family caregivers become partners in developing an individualized plan of care. Care and services provided by Hopkins Elder Plus include medical care and coordination, adult daycare, nursing care, social work, rehabilitation therapies, medications, transportation, and in-home services. Hopkins Elder Plus is the best place for me to be. I told my sister I wouldn't trade this for no, nothing else. I'm Jerry Moore. I'm Gladys Moore. I'm Allie Moore's brother, as well as his caretaker. He's been with us for about three years because my mother passed away. We had searched for about a year and six months looking for something for Alan so that he could be socialized, so that he could get out into the community, so that he would have activities. And everything I kept coming in contact with, it just wasn't a, it just wasn't a good fit. It wasn't what we wanted for him. It wasn't what he needed. And once I made a phone call here, we had a chance to meet providers and talk to staff and see staff interact. And we were completely happy with everything that we saw. It looked like it was going to be a good fit. Alan gave me a good, warm, wonderful feeling every day when he came home. And he still does it. I love it here because we are family here. We love each other. We care for each other. We look out for each other. Alan is just a lovable person. He's considerate, he's caring, he wants to be liked, he wants to help. He needs to feel as though he's contributing his part, his share. I come in Monday morning, start watering my flowers. That's my busy day in the morning, and I come in, I sharpen pounces for them downstairs. I help to clean the tables off with the trash. I do a lot of volunteer work here. Alan's happy, he's well adjusted. We're not seeing the depression that he was going through after the loss of mom. Alan actually had dark rings around his eyes. I don't see those anymore. I see him smile on a daily basis. I feel a whole lot better coming here. It's, 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 it's something to do when I'm here. I don't have to be lonely and sad all by myself no more. Every person in the program has a care plan and we come together as a team and provide updates to each other so that we can guide care and we continue to discuss and plan what we think is in their best interest, but really yielding to their uh, personal preferences. It's really uh, a way of bringing resources to a population that's challenged access to care. My name is Joseph Sapia. I'm caring for my mother currently, she's 74. Hi, I'm Edna Sapia, and I'm 74 years old. My mother had some surgery, and things just didn't go well. You know, she didn't recover the way we thought she would have from, you know, a stroke. And, you know, I was going back and forth to the hospital with her, and actually Hopkins approached me with this. My son had to get up and work, and um, there was no one home to take care of me. It was visible to them the struggles that we were having. And, you know, they approached me and said, hey, you know, maybe you should look into this program. It might benefit you. And we did. And it's done nothing but benefit us. Since I've been coming here, it changed my whole life, my whole attitude towards everything as different in my life. You know, walking in the door that it's more than just a job to the people. You know what I mean? It's like commitment. You know, they're caring for your family like you would care for your family. They treat you so nice. You can dance, you can sing, you can just associate with uh, different people. It's like a big family. It is such a relief to know that a place like this is here, that, you know, you can count on. 
I can't wait to get up in the morning and come here. It's like a second home to me. The doctors are nice. They give you anything at all that you need. This lets her get out of the house. You know what I mean? I don't worry about her. She's fed. Her medical needs are taken care of. She has friends here. She has arts and crafts. And you know, they. she gets religion here. She gets to watch movies and music. There's just so much for her to do here. You can have fun here. I love it here. Anybody that wouldn't want to come here, I don't know what would, what would be thinking in your head not to want to come here. I, I love it here. When I get up in the morning and put on my clothes and come down the steps, I can't hardly wait for that bus to pull up in front of my house just so I can get on that bus and come here so I can see all my friends and associate with them and tell them how beautiful they look and how pretty they are and, 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 and have breakfast with them and talk with them and, and, and say, hi, how you doing today? By bringing people to one place, a bunch of uh, providers come in with them. It helps put the care around the individual and keep them at home. So the beauty of the PACE model is that you're, you're taking resources that you've been given and you're making them fit around the patient. You're not trying to take the patient to fit whatever the benefit is. It's the people. The help is wonderful. And the people are still yet better. You meet different people every day. We're busy. We're not sitting in the, in the chairs. No, we're busy doing things. I have told so many people about this program. You got helpful people at Hopkins Elder Plus that will help you over the humps and things that you don't know or things that you don't understand. They're there and they help. Oh, I just wonder sometimes where do they get them? They're great people, helpful in any way they can help you. And it's a place that I have fell in love with. The presence and the ability of caregivers to be supported and strong is not only important for their well-being and their health, but it, it adds tremendously to our ability to achieve good outcomes for our participants. This program has changed my life. It's changed my mother's life. I mean, to, the words to express the, you know, gratitude for what they've done for us don't exist. So it's not just a participant, it is the entire family that gets the support. It is the entire family that they are concerned about, not just any one person, but the entire package. I give the credit to uh, Hopkins Elder Plus because it gives him self-worth, it motivates him, and uh, I just can't say enough about it. We watched him mature emotionally. We watched him change physically. And Hopkins Elder Plus has definitely been a part of all of that. Kudos to an organization like Johns Hopkins to bring this together. And that I think is just, is just an amazing thing for a large organization to recognize that this is a jewel. It's really nice to know when you leave home, your family don't have to worry about you. The same way you left your home, that's the same way you return back to your home. It makes me feel young again. It makes me feel like I can still live a little bit longer in life. That's how it makes me feel. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care.